Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped, and welcome to this week's Midweek 180, brought to you from my press car this week, which is an Audi SQ2. I only got the car uh, on Monday, I haven't really driven it very much, so more on this car coming very, very soon. But before we get cracking with the Midweek 180, I want to say a few things, if that's okay. I am in the middle of a proper growth spell on YouTube, and it is quite taking me aback to be honest to put it into context since last week's midweek 180 we have grown 2700 subscribers in fact in the last 30 days i've added 5000 new subscribers to the channel so many of you watching will never have seen a midweek 180 before so please welcome i'll explain what we're going to do very very shortly but it honestly is staggering but one of the things i wanted to say is one of my long term followers a guy who always comments on videos a guy called Clement Sibon um, sent me a gift this week. Now, if you watch the channel very, very regularly or for a long time, you might know that when I hit a thousand subscribers, Mrs. Petroped promised me a bottle of very expensive cognac, something called Remy Martin Louis Trez, when I hit 10,000 subscribers. And that bottle never actually materialized because we bought another house. So more on that later. So when I hit 50,000 subscribers, Clement sent me this. This is the most beautiful Chateau de Montfort uh, Fine Petit Champagne Cognac. It's his favourite cognac and he sent me a bottle as a congratulations to 50,000 subscribers. I just wanted to say a massive, massive thank you. Things like that, honestly, I can't put into words what that meant to me when that arrived. It is such a thoughtful and kind thing to do. So thank you very, very much, Clemens. You really are uh, very, very generous. Anyway, let's get cracking with the business of today. Um, so all you new peddlers out there, if you've not seen one of these before, this is my midweek update where I bring you my news, views and information about upcoming reviews. I'm going to put 180 seconds in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and that's it, a very simple format. So without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's midweek 180. Last week's midweek 180 has had 4,000 views by the way, just saying. Anyway, I shall start my timer. OK, leader of the pack last week was Andrew Lord. Congratulations, sir. Joined in the famous five by F. Gom, Kevy 427 Harry and Simon W. So whoever puts the first comment next week, I will, this week I will give you a shout out next week. And whoever's in the first five comments, you will be my famous five. Where are you and what you're doing? That was Carl Davis in Austin, Texas, in his office. Hopefully you were doing some work as well as watching the Midweek 180. But wherever you are right now... Whatever you're doing, put it in the comments below and I'll give you a shout out next week. Now, last week's question was, what cars do you regret selling? There were so many, I can't mention them. They're, you want to go back in the video and have a look. Some really sad ones, some amazing cars as well. Um, really, really interesting. So this week's question, obviously, is if last week was about cars you regret selling, what about cars you regret not buying? For me, it was an Audi TT RS. I was that close to buying a TT RS and at the last minute bought a TTS because it was a lot of money cheaper and I regretted it for the whole time. I had that car, I was thinking, oh, we should have the RS, we should have the RS. Um, F1, very briefly, Drive to Survive has started on Netflix. If you have a Netflix subscription, honestly, you need to watch that. For me, it's actually better than the racing. It's incredible, absolutely amazing. Um, New car news, Geneva clearly cancelled this week because of the coronavirus outbreak, but new cars breaking cover. This, the Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA, the Gran Turismo Allegarita. Um, all I can say is that is one of the most stunning looking cars I've ever seen. 533 horsepower, quite a bit less weight than the uh, Giulia Quadrifoglio, which is still one of my favourite cars. That's going to be epic and then the other car that caught my eye only broke cover yesterday is the new mclaren 765 lt bound to get that one wrong um now all lts in mclaren the 675 lt and the 600 lt two of the best cars they've ever made that thing looks ridiculous how they've managed to shave 80 kilos off of a standard uh 720s i have absolutely no idea and the 720s is still one of the cars that absolutely frightened me to death in its standard trim so that oh my goodness me i cannot I can't imagine how much of a monster that's going to be. Um, and then a uh, new car video is going to drop tomorrow. You may well have seen my video from Monday evening uh, where I announced the fact that I have cancelled my GP3 order. Um, well, I've already collected my new car and I collected it last weekend and the video drops tomorrow evening at six o'clock. Very unusual for me to do a video on a Thursday, but I've got so much content to try and get to you recently. Uh, it has to be on a Thursday. 
So make sure you tune in for that. And then on Friday at six, I'm really hoping to drop the biggest announcement yet in Petrolped. I'm still waiting to get permission to do it. Um, all will become clear when I drop it, but honestly, I'm not bigging this one up. It is the biggest thing to happen to Petrolped for sure. And actually one of the biggest things to happen to me personally as well. It is such an exciting thing I'm gonna to announce to you on Friday. So hopefully you will tune in and I will see you on that one. But that, my dear peddlers, is that. <laughs> Make sure you tune in on Friday, honestly. But if you haven't seen it already, um, I've done some, a couple of the videos recently have done amazingly. I'm filming with an awesome car on Friday as well, which I can't tell you anything about, but that will be coming to the channel very, very soon. And next week I've got an unbelievable car coming to the channel. So I'm really, really trying to up my game in, in terms of content to really get these new guys that are coming on board, these new 5,000 peddlers we've had in the last month. I want to do that every month now. I want to carry on growing, but I can't do it without you guys. So thank you very, very much. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this one, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. There will be loads of content coming on the SQ2. I've got this car for two weeks. I've got lots of plans with it, but I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe.